Good morning children. Now you know how to compare different fractions whether they are like fractions that is having the same denominator or unlike fractions that is having different denominators. Let us try more examples. Let us take another example 5 by 6, 5 by 8, 7 by 12 and 17 by 24. Can we compare these fractions? What we need to do? First we need to make them like fraction which means we need to make their denominators same. Now what are the multiples of 6? 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. What are the multiples of 8? 8, 16, 24, 32. And what are the multiples of 12? 12, 24, 36. And the multiples of 24 are 24, 48, 72. Now, which is the least common multiple of all of these? Well, it is... 24. So 24 is the LCM here of 6, 8, 12 and 24. So let's use it to make the denominators of all the fractions as same. First it is 5 by 6. In order to make the denominator as 24 we need to multiply by 4. So we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 4. Starting with the numerator, 5 multiplied by 4 is equal to 20. The denominator becomes 6 multiplied by 4 which is 24. Now the next fraction 5 by 8 we need to multiply it by 3. Both the numerator and denominator. What do we get? 5 multiplied by 3 is equal to 15. 8 multiplied by 3 is equal to 24. So we get equivalent fraction 15 by 24, 20 by 24. The next fraction is 7 by 12. In order to make the denominator as 24, we need to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 2. So 7 multiplied by 2 is equal to 14. 12 multiplied by 2 is equal to 24. So this is the equivalent fraction of 7 by 12. Next it is 20 by 24. It already has the denominator as 24. The next one is 15 by 24. The next is 14 by 24. And the last one 17 by 24. Now since the denominators are same in order to arrange them in ascending order we just check and place the numerators in the ascending order. So the fraction 14 by 24 comes first then 15 by 24 then 17 by 24 and then 20 by 24. Here the fractions are arranged in ascending order. Now we will replace them with their equivalent fractions that is the original ones. So 14 by 24 becomes 7 by 12 and 15 by 24 becomes 5 by 8 and 17 by 24 was the original fraction so we replace 20 by 24 with the original one which is 5 by 6. So here we get the fraction in ascending order. Now how to get the descending order? Well we'll just put in the reverse order so for the descending order 5 by 6 goes first then comes 17 by 24, then comes 5 by 8 and then comes 7 by 12. So this is the 
descending order of the fractions. Now coming to the next problem. This is a cake and Anand, Rajat and Khushi wanted to share it. Anand took 1 by 7th part. Rajat took 1 by 8th part and Khushi took 1 by 5th part. So how do we compare these fractions? Let's see. They all have 1 as the numerator. 1 by 7, 1 by 8, 1 by 5. So they are called unit fractions. Understood? So any fraction which has 1 as the numerator is called a unit fraction. Now how do we compare unit fractions? Do we need to make the denominator same? No. Here we already know that 1 by 2 is greater than 1 by 4. So what does that mean? As the value of denominator increases, the value of fraction decreases. So what can be said? We can say 1 by 5 and if we take 1 by 7 here 5 is less than 7 which means the fraction 1 by 5 is greater than 1 by 7. The next one if we take 1 by 8 and compare 1 by 7 and 1 by 8 what do we see? 7 is less than 8 which means the fraction 1 by 7 is greater than 1 by 8. So now you know how to compare the unit fractions. Here 1 by 5 is greater than 1 by 7 because 5 is less than 7. And coming to the next one in 1 by 11 and 1 by 15 1 by 11 is greater than 1 by 15 because 11 is a lesser value as compared to 15. Understood? So now you know how to compare fractions whether they are like fractions or unlike fractions or even unit fractions. That's all for now. Bye bye children.